Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. The topic that we will discuss today is about volume of a cube and a rectangular prism using cubic centimeter and cubic meter. Look at this figure. Okay, so i-analyze natin itong figure na to by answering this question. How many cubic centimeters are there in the first layer? So, ilan yung cubic centimeter ang meron dito sa ating unang or first layer natin? So, ang makikita natin dito, yung length niya is 5 centimeter. Tapos, yung width niya is 2 centimeter. So, yun yung ating first layer. Kapag i-multiply natin ng 5 centimeter at 2 centimeter, that will give us an answer of 10 centimeter squared. Question, how many layers of cubic centimeters will it take to fill the box? So, ilang layers ng cubic centimeters ang kailangan para mapuno itong box na to? So, bilangin natin, eto, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ng apat na layers para mapuno itong lahat ng uh, box na to. So, we need 4 layers to fill the box. Kasi yun yung height niya eh. 4 layers. What are the total cubic centimeters needed to fill the box? So, para mapuno itong box, ilan lahat yung total cubic centimeters niya? So, kung kanina, nakuha na natin, kapag minultiply natin yung 5 centimeters sa 2 centimeters, that will give us an answer of 10 squared centimeters, which is also the area of this uh, box. ba? Tapos, I-multiply natin sa 4 kasi yun yung uh, uh, taas ng box. So, we will get 40 cubic centimeters. So, ito yung kailangan natin cubic centimeter para mapuno itong box. Therefore, what is your understanding about the volume of the box? So, nakuha natin yung volume ng box kapag kinuha natin yung area ng box which is yung kanina, 5, yung kanyang length, tapos yung width niya is 2. So, minultiply natin yan, di ba? Yun yung area niya, 5 times 2 is 10 square centimeters. Then, pag minultiply natin siya sa height, or sa given height ng box, that will give us the volume of the box. So, ibig sabihin, multiply lang natin yung tatlong dimensions na yun para makuha natin yung volume ng box. So, how can we get the volume of a rectangular prism and a cube? So, volume, or letter V, is the number of cubic units needed to fill the spatial figure. It is the amount that will occupy space of the figure. Volume is three-dimensional or 3D process of measuring the spatial figure. It is composed of the area of the base, or the length and width, times the height or V equals L times W times H. That is why every answer is in cubic units. Uh, pwedeng cubic inches, cubic centimeters, cubic meters, and etc. So, laging uh, i-express i natin ang ating final answer, lalo na sa volume, in cubic units. So, let's discuss the first spatial figure that that is the cube. A cube is an example of a spatial figure that has three dimensions. Since all the faces of the cube are perfect squares, the length, the width, and the height are equal. The sides of the square are also called edges of the cube, and S is the symbol used. Thus, the formula to find the volume of the cube is S times S times S or S raised natin sa third power. Let's have an example to find the volume of a cube. So, this is an example of a cube. So, ang cube ay three dimensions, meron siyang length, width, and height. And since pareho nga yung sukat ng length, width, at height niya, uh, pinapalitan na lang natin ito ng letter S or the size. Or sometimes we use E or the edges. So, to find the volume of a cube, we will use the formula V equals S times S times S. 
or we will just multiply the three sides. So, let's say, for example, ang sukat ng sides ng cube na to is 3 centimeters. So, substitute natin the, ang given value sa ating formula. So, V equals 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters. And the answer is 27 cubic centimeters. So, again, i-express nyo ang inyong answer in cubic units. So, we read 27 cubic centimeters as 27 cubic centimeters. So, let's proceed on rectangular prism. We know that for a rectangular prism, the base is always a rectangle. So, pag rectangular prism ang pinag-uusapan, kaya nga siya tinawag na rectangular, kailangan yung base niya is always a rectangle. Therefore, the area of the base is always the product of length and width. To get the volume, we just multiply the area by the height. So, the volume of rectangular prism is equal to the area of rectangle times height of the prism. Or, pwede rin naman natin gamitin, yung area of rectangle is, di ba, uh, uh, length times width. So, lagyan natin yon V equals L times W times natin, yung nadagdag na dimension is yung height. So, V equals L times W times H. So, this is the example on finding the volume of a rectangular prism. So, Ang rectangular prism na to ay may length na 3 cm, ang kanyang height ay 4 cm, at ang kanyang width ay 5 cm. So, we will use the formula V equals L times W. Yung L times W natin, ito yung area, di ba? So, L times W, that is the area of the base. Then, multiply natin sa height. So, L times W times H. Then, substitute the given values to the formula. So, V equals 3 cm times 5 cm times 4 cm. And the volume of this rectangular prism is 60 cubic centimeters. So, let's read and study the problem below. A storage box is 60 cm by 40 cm by 30 cm. So, what is the volume of the box? Again, Dahil ang given uh, special figure na binanggit is a rectangular prism, therefore, we will find the volume of the rectangular prism by just multiplying the length, the width, and the height. So, V equals L times W times H, that is our formula. Then, substitute the given values to the formula. V equals 60 cm times 40 cm times 30 cm and the volume of the box or the storage box is 72,000 cubic centimeters. Okay, so we're done with finding the volume of a rectangular prism in the cube. So let's proceed on estimating and using appropriate units of measure for volume. Okay, so let's read this situation. Elijah has a rectangular box with sand inside it. He wants to know the capacity of the box. What shall he do? What unit of measure will he use? So, gusto ni Elijah malaman yung capacity ng box. So, anong dapat niyang gawin at anong unit of measurement ang kanyang gagamitin? If we want to estimate the volume, pag sinabing estimate lang, hindi siya yung eksaktong volume. So, gumagamit tayo ng non-standard units. So, kagaya ng box, yun yung naging non-standard units para malaman yung capacity ng uh, rectangular prism. And, ito naman yung mga standard units na ating ginagamit. So, the unit of measurement you're, you will use depends on the size of the object you will measure. For tiny objects, so sa mga maliliit lang na objects, it is better to use cubic millimeters kasi maliliit lang yun eh. Yung pinakamaliliit ah, pag naman malili, ma maliit, for small ones, we use cubic centimeter or cubic decimeter. Yung medyo maliit lang. And for big objects, syempre, gagamitin na natin yung cubic meters. So ito yung mga standard units na ating ginagamit sa pagsukat ng volume. Okay, so let's have this activity. Write the best unit of measure to find the volume of the following. So we can use cubic millimeters for tiny objects, cubic centimeters and cubic decimeters for small objects, and cubic meters for big objects. 
Okay, so water in a rectangular pool. So, we will use cubic millimeter, cubic meters. Okay? Dahil malaki yung pool eh. Then, an ice before it melts. So, we can use cubic centimeters. So, how about a dice? So, yung dice, pwede natin gamitin yung cubic millimeters. So, depende. Kasi kung napakaliit ng dice, cubic millimeters. Kung malaki yung dice, so we can use cubic centimeters. So, it depends. Next is a blackboard eraser. So, yung blackboard eraser, we can use cubic centimeters. Next, oil in a rectangular box. So, box lang naman yung pinaglalagyan, hindi naman swimming pool. So, we can use cubic decimeter. So, tatandaan nyo na isang cubic decimeter ay may katumbas na isang litro. So, cubic decimeter ang ating ilalagay dyan. Then, a wooden rectangular chopping board. So, ang pwede natin gamitin is cubic centimeter. Okay. So, let's proceed on this activity. Find the volume of each prism. So, meron tayong ditong table. Given ang length, ang width, at height. And we are going to find the volume of this prism. Of the following pr prism. So, we have length, width, and height. Ano lang gagawin natin yan? To find the volume, we will just multiply the three dimensions. So, 4 meters times 2.5 meters or 2 and 5 tenth meters times natin sa 3 and 5 tenth meters, we will get 35 cubic meters. Okay? Next, 8 centimeters times sa 4 centimeters times 5 centimeters, ang volume niya is 160 cubic centimeters. Okay, next, yung 16 and 5 10 centimeters multiplied sa 12 centimeters and 8 centimeters, the volume will be 1,584 cubic centimeters. Next, 7 meters times 2 meters times 4 meters. So, the volume is 56 cubic meters. And lastly, 16 centimeters times 7 centimeters times natin sa 12 centimeters. So, the volume will be 1,344 cubic centimeters. So, ganun lang yung gagawin nyo. Imumultiply nyo lang yung length, yung width, and yung height to find the volume of the following rectangular prism. Okay, so let's apply the appropriate formula to find each volume. So, we have this figure. So, this figure is a rectangular prism dahil hindi pare-pareho yung sukat ng kanyang edges or sides. So, we will use the formula V equals L times W times H. Then, substitute the given values to the formula. V equals 5 cm times 2 cm times 7 cm. So, the answer is... 70 cubic centimeters. So, this is, this is the volume of this rectangular prism. So, let's proceed on the next figure. So, this figure is a cube kasi given yung sides. So, ibig sabihin, pantay-pantay yung sukat ng kanyang sides. So, we will use the formula V equals S times S times S. Then, substitute the given values to the formula V equals 10 cm times 10 cm times 10 cm and the volume obtained is 1,000 cubic centimeters. Next. So, we have another cube. Hindi lang siya mukhang cube, pero cube, cube yan kasi yung given size niya is 7 cm lang. So, again, we will apply the formula V equals S times S times S then, substitute the given values to the formula. So, V equals 7 cm times 7 cm times 7 cm. And we will get the volume of 343 cubic centimeters. Okay, next. Number 4. So, we have rectangular prism. Dahil iba-iba yung sukat ng kanyang sides. So, we will use the formula V equals L times W times H. So, substitute natin V equals 5 meters times 1 meter times 6 meters. So, the answer is 30 cubic meters. And for the figure number 5, 
So again, this is a rectangular prism. So we will apply the formula V equals L times W times H. Then don't forget to substitute the given values to the formula. So V equals 6 meters times 4 meters times 2 meters. So the answer is 48 cubic meters. So wala namang problema kung magkapalit-palit sila naman ng pwesto kasi multiplication naman yan applying the commutative, commutative property of multiplication. So yun yun. Pwede siyang magkapalit-palit ng pwesto. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.